Morning everyone, Nikki from Gracie's house. Um, coming to you this morning to just show you some taping off and uh, adding some stripes to the side of a cabinet. So you might have seen a few weeks ago, I, um, I painted a, a long and low sort of small sideboard cabinet oak and I did it in the same colours. So the lady that bought it sent this down and she's having it done to match. So you can see I've done one of the cupboard doors in the background. Well, I've done both, but you can see one of them in the background. Um, hi, Bobby. Hi, Joy. Um, if anyone's pop, pop, pop on and say hi, just so that I know that you're there and um, let me know where you're watching from. That'd be brilliant. So I've done the doors, the cabinets, um, these to match. So it's the same. So this is the redesign with Prima decoupage paper called Giselle, uh, which I have. Let me just grab the, the packet. So I haven't come on to show you applying these before. Hi, Summer. Hi, Natalie and Jade. Um, I haven't come on to because I've done these before. I've done these live on, on a couple of pieces. So I've come on to show you now to do the um, stripes. So I'm quite excited. It's, it's sad the things that excite us, isn't it? So I have got a new brush. Look how big it is and it fits in the palm of your hand. Look how lovely. So I got this from... Um, Helen at Just Like Home Interiors. I'll pop, a, I'll pop a link on for you. Hi, Bobby from California. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. So this is my new wax brush. And you all know that the um, decor waxes, and this is eternal. This is like everyone's absolute favourite. It's just the most perfect gold. So it's it can be antique -y. It gives you just a bit of glue. It's just such a pretty, pretty gold. Um, and I've said it before, but I'm getting nervous because this it's not getting low, but I feel like it's getting low. And it just before it goes, it gets in and out of stock so quickly. So I'm, I'm getting a bit nervous. So hi, Joy, you're watching from Warwickshire. OK, you're rubbish at stripes. Why are you rubbish at stripes? If you're nervous about stripes, these waxes are an awesome way to do them. You don't have to worry quite so much about bleed through. You still have to make sure that your tape is stuck down nicely. But this, if you have got issues with bleed through, uh, you know, when it bleeds under the tape, this is a really, really good way of starting off. Um, Natalie, you're asking if Katie's watching. Sorry, I didn't see who Kate, which Katie it was. Hi, Sally. So I've taped it off already just because it's, it's quite a big piece. If I was doing a smaller piece, I would probably have taped it off while you were watching. It just, it's a bit, it would be a bit boring to watch. So I kind of, I've got two thicknesses of tape that I use. So I've got my thick one, which is what's on the cabinet still. So I've gone either side, so I've given myself an, e an even. And I tried originally going with the width of the smaller tape, which was gonna be my stripe width, but actually it didn't quite work. So in the end, I added another thick piece in the middle and then just basically eyeballed it. I don't measure, they're pretty straight, don't you think? They're good. Uh, uh, there is people out there that measure. I just eyeball it. Call me lazy, but it always looks okay. And um, because this is a commission job, I also discussed with my customer, because it's such a big piece, we were talking about whether maybe going full height to, full, to, to right to the bottom with a full stripe would probably be too much. So I'm just going to kind of um, blend it in. I'm just going to kind of fade it and have them in maybe like a that sort of shape. So, I'll get cracking. And I might I might not do all of it, but I'm, I'll get one that I can do so we can do a reveal for you. So, I'm just loading up my brush. Nice big brush this is. And basically, you just need to be careful. Obviously, if you start jamming it under the under the edge of the tape, then the tape might lift. And really with this decor wax, you only need to do, that's that's one one layer. I won't need to do another layer. Um, whereas with paint, sometimes you might feel like you want to uh, do another layer as well. But but this, this stuff's great. So you can go up and down. I, I think to get it all as a good coverage, I like doing a circular motion. But then I find to make it look more even, I tend to finish off with more of a linear movement. 
This brush is lovely. This is really, really nice brush. I can 100% recommend this. It's just lovely. Okay. So, and you can see how I'm just feathering that finish out at the bottom. So just so that when the tape reveals, it's just going to be have like a faded look, like a blended look. Which is exactly what I want. And I'm going to do the same at the top. It's actually going, this brush, I mean, I, I do these all the time, but with this brush, this is going to make it a lot quicker. I might go just a little bit higher on the inside two stripes. So if anyone's got any questions, I'm, just, I'm kind of concentrating, I'm chatting away, but if anyone's got any questions, hi Mary, hi Tezza, Debbie. So I've just got a new colour of this. I had a little tester pot and... Um, so the, the next colour I've received on this is called Element, which is like a more coppery, bronzy colour. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So I've got that the other day, a new pot of that. Because I'm trying to remember what I used it on. Oh, I did a big, um, I did a big black tall boy chest of drawers. And I used it all on the edges because the hardware that I was using was a real coppery colour. And it just picked up the colours in the hardware. Oh, it looked lovely. So that was my I te my tester. I used that on. And I went straight out and bought a new pot. A whole big pot. Because I fell in love with the colour. So has anyone else got any colours of the decor wax that's their favourite? Other than Eternal. Because we know that Eternal's everywhere. my knee out of the way. I won't be staying on long today anyway guys, it was literally just to show you a really effective way. And I do like the, I'm go a bit lower on this one. a little bit higher up here. Put a little bit more in the middle. Okay, so there we go. There's two stripes done. And I shall... Um, let's do a reveal of one of those for you guys. So I'm going to take these two pieces of tape off. We'll see what you think. Can you see how crisp the line is? You can, I've had, sometimes I've had a little bit where I, I haven't taped up enough and I've just had to go back over and um, go back over and just do tiny little touch-ups. But these look, I've been, I've been a bit more conscientious with sticking my tape down. And there you go, what do you think? Good, eh? And then obviously this one looks wider on camera because I haven't peeled this yet, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep going. What do you think guys? Shall I just carry on while you're on live with me? Are you gonna get bored or not? Shall I just carry on? It doesn't take too long, does it? I might as well. I might as well talk to you guys and do it. Otherwise I'm just gonna be here on my own. It's really pretty, isn't it, Mary? Thanks, Leslie. Problem is, when I'm doing this, I'm going to get through my gold. I'm going to get through this eternal too quickly. Thanks, guys. It does look good, doesn't it? I'm sure if you're already watching, you're... Um, Sophie, hang on, we've got some questions. Doing business admin. 
Nothing's more boring than business admin. Oh, I agree. Oh, yeah, I'm with you on that. I have to do the quotes and things. I mean, it's lovely to get the business in, but yeah, the, the boring side. And then, um, Sophie, you said, do you have to seal it? The wax, you don't have to seal. And the paint, to be fair, you don't have to seal. Dix this is Dixie Belle. Um, this, the colour on the side, this one's Antibell and Blue. You don't have to seal it. Once it's cured, it's pretty tough on its own. But because, because I'm selling out, se selling my pieces, or this is a commission job, I just like that extra protection. So I will be sealing this. Um, and I'll probably use satin clear coat for these. Um, yeah, probably be satin. So I don't want to lose the sheen on this. Alternatively, you could seal the paint and then wax over the top, but I, I haven't done it just on this instance, I haven't done it. And I do like to add these extra details to pieces. Um, Tezza, what tape have I used? I have got frog tape, just the standard green one. Um, and then there's the two, the two widths. I don't know if they do a thinner one, but yeah, that's, that's the standard. I do get occasionally when I'm not, not for my stripes, when I'm just, so let me just turn this a little. So on the back, just so that I'm not making a mess at the back. Can you see it's yellow here? That's just a tape from, um, cause it, I don't know, most of you are watching from, are you UK, you guys, or are you in America? The ones in America won't know the store, but there's a, a store here called Wilco's, Wilkinson's. And we call it Wilco's. And um, uh, they do a yellow painter's tape. Um, and it's pretty good, actually. I, I, don't, I don't always use it for stripes. I do prefer to use um, frog tape. But, um... And Leslie is saying, what make of paint am I using? So this is Dixie Belle. Um, so I use I the, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the majority of times I use Dixie Belle. I was lucky enough. Um, the UK is just getting the silk, um, the new paint line from Dixie Belle, which it's just hitting stores now. Um, I think over the next this week and next week, um, the UK stores are receiving their delivery. So if you've pre-ordered, you know that that'll be on your way to you in the next couple of weeks. But because I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle. I was lucky enough to receive one of each colour to have a little play and a practice with and it's fantastic. So I do use Silk, I use Dixie Belle, I do use Fusion which was one of the first paints I started working with um, and I still use that because I have a lot of my commission customers that like the finish of that but out of choice I, I do tend to use more Dixie Belle. I think the colour range is, well it is, it's a, more of a colour range, they've got some really nice brights and things. Um, so yeah, there we go. But this is Dixie Belle, and this is um, Auntie Belle and Blue. So yeah, I was saying, if you, if any of you guys um, haven't already, I'm assuming if you've landed and you're watching me already, you're probably following my page already. But if you're not, hop on over, like and follow my page. That would be fab. So what are you guys up to today? So we've had someone's doing boring admin, hence you're watching me, I take it, while you're trying to concentrate on doing admin. <laughs> A little bit of Facebook distraction. It's too easy, isn't it? Too easy to get distracted with Facebook. Okay, so we're on to the last stripe and then I'll do, and then I'll do the peely peely. Peely revealy. Mary, which Dixie Belle colour is the most teal? Oh, I think this is quite this is quite tealy. Um, yeah, this antebellum blue is quite a good teal. Oh, um, palmetto is probably a bit green, but you could maybe if it if you wanted to teal that was slightly more green, you could maybe stick a bit of antebellum blue into. Um, into 
sorry, you could stick a bit of palmetto into antebellum blue. When I've done this, I'll just I'll flip it round and you can see because there's some palmetto in the front of the cabinet. Um, but yeah, I would probably say this is the this is the closest. Let, um, yeah, I mean, there's like the really bright ones. This peacock is is um, that's that's probably not what you're thinking about. In boring lockdown, where are you, Tessa? Have you already answered that? Are you like are you like really back in lockdown? We're kind of waiting for it to happen. Everyone's the kids have gone back to school, and we're just sort of expecting it to happen at any minute now. I loved having Gracie home, and bless her, she's desperate to come and help me do a live where she can read the comments. I've said she can come and have my iPad and she can read the comments for me. Um, but I do get so much more done when she's at school. Let me just stand back, guys. Australia. So Australia's massively in lockdown, are you, Tessa? God, I can't. Like I said, we think it's going to happen. I need to get a bit higher over here. Just a little bit. Okay. What else have we got? Mary, I'm glad you said that as I've just ordered that colour for a commission. Yeah, do you know what? It probably does look more blue in this. The lighting, because I've got the sun coming from one window. I've tried to put... I've got... Um, a photography light here but it it's really difficult sometimes um, right okay I'm just gonna pop that lid back on okay so we'll do a little peely revealy Melbourne's really really locked down is it so crazy isn't it yeah Mary it is difficult to get the right colors hey, there you go what do you think so I wanted it to have you know I didn't want it to have solid ends so I'm quite pleased how that looks I quite like that you know it, it, it's just blending into Leslie can I recommend a photography light okay I'm gonna what I'll do is um I'll bring my the one that I've got into shot so that you can see what I've got. It's just a, a square one. I haven't got an umbrella as such, but I've got a, a a light box over the top. And this has got four bulbs in that have got spir like spirally bulbs. My other half laughs because it, it's spelled C-R-A-P-H-Y. Can you see that? It'll be backwards for you, but <laughs> that's the name there. And he always laughs that he thinks it should, it should say crappy. Um, and to be honest, I don't know what it's supposed to say. I've stolen them from him. Because my husband does photography and videography. So I've just thieved things out of his um, out of his kit, basically. Um, I've got so I've got two of those. My next thing to get is a is a is a ring light. Um, the mount that my phone is sitting on is from his stash. He bought me a tripod for Christmas, which is a really nice tripod, but he steals it back when he's, um, Judith, you'll just watch it working in just like home today. Hi, Judith. <laughs> um, so let me just turn it around so you guys can see. So I'm really, really pleased with those. They look even enough to my eyes. So that's good enough for me. So I'm pleased how they've turned out. Got a little bit of fallout from the wax on the bottom but it's fine I'll leave it to dry and then I'll brush it off and the great thing is if you do make a mistake with this stuff once it's cured you can paint over it your house is dark you need a good light you do um ring lights are supposed to be really good so like I said that's the next thing that I want to get and I want to get quite a big one and you mount your camera in the middle for a nice even um light source I have to just tinker with my lights here and you know when the sun's out it changes to a really warm so it, it flicks the colour, because I'm looking at here and I'm looking at what you can see on the phone and it definitely looks more blue on my phone screen. 
So, <clears throat> this is what we've been doing. So that's the um, that's the decoupage paper Giselle. So I had a panic moment because I realised I hadn't ordered the extras. So Helen to my rescue again, and she sent them out for me. So they, the other cabinet was long and low. So, but luckily there's some text that goes the other way as well. So it doesn't look too bad that I've done it on its side, and they weren't quite long enough. So I've had it enough extra. Can you see at the bottom? I had enough extra from another packet that I just cut a bit and reversed it so that the pattern didn't look like. It was disjointed, so I had to do that on both doors. Look what I've got there. My partner bought me a Merca sander, but it's in his work van more than some ice Mary, I just treated myself to a festival. Um, so again, if you're in America, the equivalent is probably the surf prep. But for those of you that do what I do, oh, everyone covets a festival. So I bought the whole kit. I bought the, the sander and um, extractor. And oh my God, game changer. It's amazing. So that's the inside of the cupboard doors. I've got the bits to put in. Now this, this morning I had a message because the original handles for this piece, so that's what the, the knobs looked like originally. And I painted a couple of them ready to go. And then this morning my customer messaged me saying, I've had a thought, I think metal handles to match the other cabinet might be good. Uh, well, the other cabinet was um, Old Charm and I don't think I've ever seen, um, ever, ever, the Holy Grail, Mary, yeah, Festool is the Holy Grail. So I don't think I've ever seen um, old charm handles off of a piece to buy separately. Because the pieces are so solid, you generally, they don't, it kind of doesn't break up, so. But I had these in my stash, so they are metal, they are, they've got hammered finish and they've got little hang pulls on with some pretties on, so. I've popped them on this morning. I've had to cut cut the stems of the uh, screws off a little. And then I'm gonna paint them to match the cupboard. And dear Santa, oh Mary, is that on your Santa wish list? Yeah, I was trying to make it stretch out to Christmas, but it was getting through the summer holidays and I was getting busier and busier. And of course, coming into autumn, I do, prior to my festival, all my prep, washing and sanding was done outside the front of my workshop but as it gets colder that gets less and less possible um so now i can sand in my workshop and not even worry about the low the cleanup the dust it's brilliant um yeah so i'm quite pleased how this one's coming along i've still got some some stuff to do and i've got some gold um a gold wash to put across the front in parts the top i've done in no pain gel stain in walnut which I think someone's just messaged me about uh, and she's used it. So I did, the first coat I did, I put on, so I sanded it back completely to bare wood. The first coat on, see the light source isn't great now, so you're not get, really getting a great. The first coat I did was, um, sorry, you need to still right up my nose then, was just, um, what am I saying? I wiped back. And then the second coat I did, a a thicker coat and left it even but thicker and I've left it and then I did a really really wipe on coat yesterday and it's beautiful absolutely perfect because she wanted it done to match the other cabinet which was oak so this is pine um uh, but I'm I'm 100% happy that that she's gonna be pleased with this so I shall be hi Colin I shall be gator hiding um, this after a few days because you can put water-based top coats on the top of no pain gel stain but you need to wait three or four days for everything to to dry off really really well but it goes on really really nicely actually I've got another cabinet here that I've done so this is done in the same stain this is oak but this has got gate hide on top I've done two coats of gate hide and it is gorgeous and I should probably do a live on it, actually, because I've got I've had people asking me. I know Gator Hyde is is um oh look, you can see my telly up in the background. I've been catching up on Desperate Housewives. I never watched it first time round, and I have it in my workshop while I'm working. Um yeah, so Gator Hyde, I shall try and do a Gator Hyde live. I'm finding it very easy to put it over no pain and a beautiful finish. 
Um, but I know people really, really struggle with it. So I shall probably try and do one for you. But hi, Alison. How are you? Um, yeah, that's it. So that's my cabinet, my work in progress cabinet. I've got the other side of stripes to do, but I won't bore you by showing you the same thing all over again. And thanks for watching. Um, if you, if I've, I'm going to share this around. So if you are watching on um, catch up, if you can, you just pop hashtag replay in the comments um, so that I know that it's being watched elsewhere. Thank you for those of you that have taken the time to watch me live. Um, as I said, if you can like them and um, follow my page, if you haven't already, that would be awesome. And I'll keep trying to bring you little nuggets as I go along. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye.